<laughs> oh yeah, that is such a great strip. I actually enjoyed it. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> oh hi. Um, didn't even see you there. So, hey, Brooklyn the Carter Girl here, and you realize the shirt is blue. So yeah, I'm about to show you right now. Look at that. This is my happy face. Yeah, brand new shirt, right? Yeah. You know how much I love Garfield? <laughs> well, actually, the one thing that I'm not going to be talking about a cat right now, but a dog. And it's, this is a dog movie. And I know some people enjoyed the movie and find it, find it emotional, but I did not have a good time with it. And I can't believe I used to like it back then. So, if you cannot handle an opinion that is clearly not yours, then I suggest you should just get out and watch none of my videos, cause you ain't gonna like about what you're about to hear. Marley and Me, released in 2008, focuses on a two young couple whose decision is to have a baby. But then along came up a puppy named Marley, who, um, by the way, who was very naughty and a troublemaking dog. And, um, that's it. That's all I have to say about this movie. But I know that 2008 has some amazing movies during that time, and they're a completely a, a big masterpiece. And then there are the big elephant in the rooms, which are the bad ones. And I can definitely tell how pointless and stupid they are. But when it comes to Marley and me, though, this is one of them, in my opinion. And I can definitely tell that this goes to the number three spot of the worst movies of 2008, right next to Birds of America. Which you probably never even heard of, but I showed you the clip of the film anyway. So anyhow, here are my big problems that I had with this movie. One, the story for this film just feels out of place. Two, the characters are not even that great at all, especially Marley. Which, by the way, there's this one scene in the movie where Marley humps a lady. Believe it or not, let me show you the clip. Oh, Marley, no! Marley! Like, seriously, was that supposed to make me laugh? Well, let me think. Hmm. No! That's right. N. O. No! And no offense, but the one in She Preferred That Doesn't 2 did a much better job in this movie. So if Marley and me on their hand that they did in the scene, not funny, didn't laugh. Free. The adult humor in this movie? In a children's film? Oh my god. It's so uncomfortable. We'll get to Jennifer's nudity scene later because I'll be saving that for last. Four. The music score for this movie is just so boring. Five. The sound editing is not even that great. And completely dull at the same time. Like, heck, even the sound producers were like, Oh, we can't even get the crying baby stock sounds for John and Jennifer's baby. Oh, let's just get a free old toddler to record the baby crying sound for the baby. John, please, just take him. I, 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 gotta, I gotta tower, I gotta go. It happens every time. It would have been better if this movie did use a baby crying stock sound. Please, just take him. I, I, gotta, I gotta tower, I gotta go. And not gonna lie, but to top it off at six, Lauren Graham should have been a better casting choice for Jennifer. And yes, that Lauren Graham. One of my favorite actresses, she has appeared in TV shows and movies that I love so much and turns out to be my favorite one of them all that she did a fantastic job in. And it could be better if they did get Lauren Graham in this movie instead of Jennifer Aniston. With Jennifer Aniston on the other hand, I do enjoy her role as Rachel Green in the TV show Friends. But when it comes to movies, yeah, I was, like, not a fan of it whatsoever. Well, that is, except for one, which is Storks, where she voices Nate's mother, which I'll do give credit because she did a great job in it. But Owen Wilson, you know, the actor who voices Lightning McQueen in the Cars films? Mm, good choice as John, but with Jennifer Aniston as Jennifer? Mm, what a bad choice, in my opinion. And, uh, I'll admit... Marley's is deaf in this movie. You know the scene where the dog died? 
Yeah, that was like the saddest part of this film, which that was sad, which I'll give good credit for this film. However, the rest of the film... Oh boy, I did not have a good time with it whatsoever. And oh, oh boy, saving the best for last. Get ready to make you uncomfortable with this one. In three, two, one. We're not old, John. We can still surprise ourselves. What? How? How? This is not allowed to. Allowed this in the kids' film. He went. Done. Done. So done. Yeah, this film should have been PG-13, not PG. And Laura Graham could have done a better job for this scene if they did get her in this film instead of Jennifer Aniston, like I said before. So the people at 20th Street Fox nowadays as 20th Street Studios, who allowed to have a scene. With Jennifer Aniston's nudity and Marley and me should go and eat a cactus because that is not allowed in a PG film. Because this shouldn't have been PG-13 by now. And even though I love dogs, which I have two in my house, if I had a third one in the house right now, which is Marley, if he wrecks the entire place, I want my pet store money back. And oh, forgot to mention, there's also a prequel of this movie from 2011, which I had no plans to watch it whatsoever. So if you guys like Marley and Me, and if you enjoyed it, then that's fine. I can handle your opinion on it because I'm pretty fine with that. So overall, Marley and Me gets a 3 out of 10. And no mean to swear, but I have to agree with Richard the Film Geek. This film should go to doggy hell. After talking about this movie, I could definitely say that I could be calming down for now and just focus back to my Garfield comic that I was reading. So, yes, could be true that I should be coming down for now after what I've been through. So, yeah, at the end of the day, I suggest you should watch the Peanuts movie, which this is way better than... Marley and me, so yep. And I can tell right now is that no bad movie should be getting in my hands, so I would definitely be sure that not a single bad film should be in my hands right now. <sighs> what? What are you all looking at? What? Why am I holding? It's not that big of a deal. Whoa. I don't know why I just grabbed that. <sighs> With all that said, see you guys next time. This is me signing off. Okay, now, where was the last page I'm at? Mm, gotta keep looking for it. Yeah, let me be sure. Mm, no, I'm not it. I swear, I know I got a head at work somewhere. Well, last time. Thank you.